Hello fellow K-Vikes recruits. Today we'll be learning how to lock and load a tripod. Don't mind me. <laughs> You're just gonna let gravity do work, but it gets stuck sometimes, so you wanna make sure you pull on the leg just a little bit, or you can just manually pull the legs out. You just wanna make sure they're fully extended unless that's not what you're doing, then just make sure they're all the same height. And then once you're done, just gonna spread the legs of the tripod <laughs> and you're done. It's that simple. And I get over here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So today we were. Ooh. So we are now gonna learn how to put the shoe on the camera and the camera on the tripod itself. Step one: make sure it's not locked. Because if it is locked, it will not move. The lock is right here. You see that bronze thing? Push it that way. And when you do that, the shoe will pop right off. Step two. So when you put the shoe on the camera or whatever you're using, if you look on the shoe itself, there is two arrows. You're gonna be using this one right here. It says lens pointing up in the horizontal direction because the lens right here is pointing that way. And you're just gonna put it on and screw it on. Make sure you are putting it in a threaded hole because there is one that's not threaded and you're going to be spinning forever if you don't. When you put the camera on, you're going to put the front side first and then the back and push down. Make sure to lock it just in case it gets accidentally released. And there you have it. Your camera is now on the tripod. So this is how you tilt the camera up, down, and you lock it back. This is how you panor pan panoram panor unlock and lock it back. And this is how you elevate the camera. Okay. Yay! Woo. Some things to be aware of while you operate the tripod. Make sure you actually loosen up the panning knob because if it's tight and you try to jab it, you can actually totally remove the tripod head from the base. So you don't want to do that. Now be aware that when you do have a microphone sitting on top of here, this, even though it's tight, may cause it to still be top heavy. So it may always move as needed. So just be aware of that. When you're actually using the camera, make sure it has the battery inside of it, or at least the DCN. There are multiple ways of doing things, but this is pretty much the easiest. You wanna find the balance of the tripod where you can let it go and it'll still work without moving and then you can move it easily. That way you don't have to. That's why we bought fluid head video tripods. Put it back, just put it upside down. Actually, it's not gonna balance. That's not gonna work. What do you mean? This one, we can let gravity do the work, but I'm not gonna do that. That's just not how it works. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks for watching our tutorial by Vtex.